right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching Source Like Mopars. Today is kind of a surprise trip. I'm here with Buddy Ezra, remember him from the race. And we're gonna test our daily drivers here in Jacumba, California. And this is Valley of the Moon. So he's way more capable than I am. He's got a newer Jeep 4xE. Um, I have the, the Ram 1500, it is the off-road edition. And we both have done similar mods. He's got slightly bigger tires, so a 35 inch. Uh, I put the Ram Rebel rims on it, which are a little bit over 33, like 33.1. But I've also got the Fox 2.0 coilovers in the front and Fox 2.0 shocks on the rear. Now this truck does have the off-road group, so it's already an inch taller from factory. I did put some side steps on it, but that's about it. So I'm gonna actually exercise the truck, see what it can do offline or off-road. We're doing some of the easier trails first to kind of see and get a feel for it. And then uh, we're gonna push it a little bit. Before we get going though, I gotta make sure we take care of some stuff. Truck is just regular, right? Didn't clean it up for the video. Just on a whim came out here to shoot some videos. Did you want that uh, sandwich? Thanks bro. <laughs> no problem. Here's the, the map of the trail. Thankfully, they give you all the information you need. They tell you what uh, requires high clearance and what's a little bit easier to navigate. So we're right here, just off Highway 8. And these are the trails we've got to explore today. We're really close to the border, as you can see, just right there. But uh, we're gonna put them to the test. Now, before we start hitting the trail, I do need to remove this toe hitch. From everything else I've seen online, this receiver here, gonna be the low point on my departure angle so I'm gonna make sure that I don't scrape it and lower it anymore by having an actual ball and receiver on it or ball and hitch on it all right problem solved <laughs> tell the depth from the video but we've got uh, some good upward movement here some larger boulders maybe uh, two and a half three feet sunken dips here so I'm really gonna have to pick my line closely but uh, I think it should handle it just fine yeah as you brought up a good point he used his locker so I'm gonna go ahead and use it because if he used it <laughs> I probably need it yeah. always turn this bad boy off I'm not sure if I even need to or not, but let me see if I can't uh, engage this bad boy. So I guess it's gonna get pretty pretty hairy going down this hill. So I'm gonna try that hill descent control uh, and see how that works in real life. Jesus Christ. This will be fun. Yeah. All right, this is pretty steep. I don't know if you can quite gauge it from camera here. Let me show you what we're talking about. That's a hard angle to, to see, but like if you drop this rock. Yeah. It's pretty. Pretty gnarly angle. I and that's like a drop, like that's like four feet, maybe five feet dip. 
So I'm thinking if I if I come up there, I'll double check that. You know, let's just go look at it right now. I saw this when I was buying the truck and I thought, oh, this is cool, but I'll probably never use it. And here we are. All right, if you got a Rebel or a Bighorn, oh, that one. you'll have this guy. Okay, now I gotta find out where the rollover, if it even has it on here. Mm. That's just a 45 mark. Uh, I got no idea. I don't think it says. Oh well. We're live. We'll do it live! Yeah, Jesus, I'm scared of that. Come driver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're on the, the rear is completely up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, your, your rear is up like three feet. <laughs> Should I bob it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Take it slow. Oh, that's just the foot. That's just the splitter. You're good. Okay. Come, driver. Driver, driver. There you go. Stop. 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 You're gonna hit that running board pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause you're. You have nothing left on the rear. Looks like you'll clear the. Yeah, your exhaust is maybe three inches. Your right's fine. It looks it looks like you're gonna clear the rear side, but it's it's you're gonna scrape that pretty hard. But then once you pull hard right, pull it away from the rock. If you think you got it, you're gonna put your your muffler under the ground though. Muffler's going the ground. Yeah. Like that? Nah. You get crushed tips. Not yet. Two, three inches. Keep going. Oh, you cleared it. You cleared it. Now it's just that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> Man, I wish the camera could capture this angle. This does not do it justice. Let's go. I'm starting to really love these uh, box shocks. Oh, you're planted. You're not bobbing around at all. It's nice. Well, I was there for a hot minute. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. I'm going to stand. I'm Dude, six I foot want, three. Yeah, want... Six foot three, and I'm going to stand in this. Show you. Camera's at my face. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty big dip. Yeah. Woo. I didn't scrape at all. No. No, you were good. how well that ram did as you can see here uh, not without casualty so burning boards will be taken off next time basically just push to here and you can even see the support brackets push back so the whole running boards shifted aft a little bit um, these aren't expensive i got these on amazon i think like 200 bucks so i'll end up completely reswap or swapping those just replace them probably go the same ones because i really liked them they also did a good job with water 
that was it. There was no rubbing. I can't believe I made it through some of those holes. Uh, definitely bring a spotter with you if you were going to do something like this because, you know, the Power Wagon's got that front camera. We don't have that front camera. Even the Rebel doesn't have it. And the hood's pretty big. So a lot of times I relied on Ezra to help guide me in where I was landing on the line. But besides the running board, there was, there was no issue at all. Now remember, this is an off-road group, so it's got a factory one-inch lift. And then I did lift it two and a half inches in the front with the coilovers. Um, you know, these Fox coilovers handled the compressions and the diffs like there was no tomorrow. Um, in a stock configuration, I don't think I would have been able to get through half of those holes. But uh, having it leveled with those coilovers did a fantastic job. And it was comfortable, you know, especially with these newer trucks. Like my back's not hurting. You know, I feel really good after two and a half hours of wheeling. So 10 for 10. Definitely get the Fox shocks if you're looking at them. I definitely think it's worth it. They did a great job and uh, I'm going to keep mine on for quite a long time. So thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See if I can get back to you as soon as possible.